Welcome back to GKB Rising, James here. Thanks for watching my video. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about one of my most anticipated games of 2016, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is the sequel to Human Revolution, which is my favorite game of all time, currently my favorite game of all time. The reason why I loved Human Revolution so much was because the world and just everything that Idols Montreal created in the game was so diverse and so different. And like everywhere you went in that game, there was detail everywhere from like flyers on the ground to papers on the floor and just different foods. If you went to Hangsha, there was so much diverse detailing in the game. And it really made me realize just how passionate these developers were and just how how much they put into the game so much went into the game and if you bought the director's cut of the game which i did for ps3 they actually cut out a ton of stuff from human revolution like human revolution would have been like a 60 hour game not like a 30 hour game but regardless it was such an amazing game and to this day it's my favorite game of all time because again just how different it was and the theme and the music oh my god the music was so good anyway that's enough about why I love the human revolution. I, I could go on forever, but um, I'm highly w anticipating Mankind Divided. When the trailer came out for this game, I literally fanboyed all over the screen. I was so, so happy. And I did a live reaction for the E3 trailer that's on my channel, and I can leave an annotation somewhere on the screen if you want to check that out. Mankind Divided. The one thing that I didn't really like about Human Revolution, even though I even though it's my favorite game of all time, there were a few little nitpicks here and there that I thought that they could have improved on. Uh, one thing I wish that they really established more on which they might be holding for mankind divided so this could be answered in the sequel is the reunion between megan and adam quick recap for human revolution spoilers the game's been out since 2011 but spoilers even though i just spoiled adam and megan reuniting spoilers 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 um so megan gets kidnapped by these terrorists and serve industries adam gets augmented he gets severely injured he goes on a journey to find megan eventually he finds megan at the omega ranch in singapore and they eventually meet but then it's cut short because hugh darrow activates a chip that causes all augmented people to go insane and this is why in mankind divided augmented people are considered to be like terrible people and everyone's afraid of augmented people and adam's trying to take down the illuminati who he thinks is responsible for everything but going back to megan and adam Adam finally reunites with Megan, who he believes is at the Omega Ranch, which he is, and once they reunite, it's kind of like a bittersweet welcome, because Megan's like, oh, is Jaren, is that you? Jaren was, Jaren Amir was the third boss in the game, and Adam's like, not exactly, or not exactly. And Megan's been missing for about six months, I believe, and she thought Adam was dead, and it was a really kind of like an awkward reunion, and Adam traveled all that time, like, all, he traveled so far to see Megan, and in the end, it wasn't really worth anything, and before they were even had a chance to even just discuss what happened, Hugh Darrow activated the chip, and then Adam had to go to Panchea to solve that whole Hyron Zhao thing. So we never actually got to see a proper ending to Megan and Adam, and I really hope that we get to see that in Mankind Divided because that was like one of the biggest parts of the entire game in Human Revolution was to find Megan and to reunite with her. Because when you find out that she's alive halfway through the game, you're just like, oh my god, I want to find out what's going to happen. You know, you do meet Megan at the end of the game, but it's not as rewarding or as I wanted to see see it wasn't enough and I really hope that in the, in, in, in uh, Mankind Divided, we get to see more of what happened with Adam and Megan. And it really shouldn't be that hard to cast because Elias voices Adam and his wife actually plays Megan Reed. So it shouldn't be hard to get Megan Reed back in the sound booth. And maybe we won't see Megan return in Mankind Divided because I am I heard that a lot of the characters like Malik and Pritchard are not really coming back to Mankind Divided because that's kind of conflicts with the whole ending with like which choice you pick. Like if you chose Seraph's ending or Taggart's ending or if you kill Taggart or if you kill Seraph and having that come back. I think the creators wanted to keep those endings open but they wanted to kind of continue the story without telling you exactly what happened. That way they don't ruin your gameplay experience from the first game. But that's something that I would actually love to see come back in Mankind Divided or at least be picked up again in Mankind Divided is seeing Megan again and then seeing Adam and just having that resolved in a more fluent manner. If I could ask for one thing to come back in this game it would be that. And If, if, if they don't do that that's okay because it was still kind of ended in the first game but i feel like in mankind divided they could at least go back and kind of rethread that subplot and at least conclude it in a more proper way than what they did in human revolution those are my thoughts on the megan adam 
resolution subplot. Going back to Mankind Divided in terms of like what I'm looking at right now on the screen, the game looks beautiful, the graphics look beautiful. I love how they're doing more combat oriented because I definitely felt more punished doing combat in the first game than I did stealth combat or just stealth in general. The new augmentations look awesome, like the taser fist or like ejecting your freaking, what, the, what are those things called? Your, your, your blade, your arm blades. The game looks phenomenal. Idos Montreal really set the bar when it came to human revolution. They're only going to raise the bar even further. I don't know how they're going to do it. Like the Titan shield looks awesome. Idos Montreal is a fantastic developer. If you have not checked out human revolution, please do it. This game is phenomenal. It's so rich with detail. It's so rich with compassion. It's so rich with just everything. I have actually not done a full walkthrough on Human Revolution. I tried a couple times on my channel in the past, but I never actually succeeded. I would love to do a walkthrough of HR. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But those are my quick thoughts on the Adam and Megan thing. Thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you're excited for Mankind Divided. And once again, guys, thanks for watching and have a good day. Peace out.